what I found. What'd you find? Oh! oh. A rubber egg? No, this is a real egg. What? That is the goofiest. Wow, Z. I bet the, did the rooster lay that one? I don't know, but that almost looks like there's a chicken called a, chi a, a pickled chicken or a potato chicken or something. Potato chicken. Okay, so you get uh, a little bit of feed. The middle kind of. Okay, your purse there too, just in case. Okay, clean out the water. You're getting me. You're, getting, you're washing me instead of the water. These guys are good. Nice, clean grass. Let's move the chicks. Here, Zoe, we're going to move them. Don't get too much feet on the ground. We only use two chicken tractors, so... We only have one set of wheels. These wheels are really sweet because they're old time lawnmower wheels or something, but they're they're just complete rubber. There's no tube, there's no air, there's no nothing. So they've been awesome for the chicken tractors. Just put them on there. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. This is 20 Acre Farms. We love visitors and can always use an extra hand. In this episode, we are talking about the three things we did when our piglets were first born. All right guys, um, Bethany and I are in the pig barn. You can see Miss- One week. Yeah, one week old. <laughs> you can see Miss Piggy behind us there. Oh. Um, she is, she's getting more and more protective. So we're kind of, we're kind of looking behind us watching. Um, but we've kind of set the set the rule here. We have three kids. The kids are not allowed in here. We have a barrier that they can step on a bale and they can look over at her and look at the piglets, but they cannot come in here. And we do try to, even if they're doing that, we try to go ahead and be a part of that and being here with her. Um, you can tell she's just laying down. We really want to get the piglets used to our voices. Um, and get used to human interaction a little bit and get her used to that so that when she has uh, another litter that she's not surprised when we're you know right up close mm -hmm. with her so that's really important to us so <clears throat> what we really want to talk about is three things that we did when these piglets were born uh, that we know you don't necessarily have to do we talked to other people about it and uh, the, the, the gurus that we talked to said they didn't do it. Um, so we're gonna go over those three things that we did that you may not have to do if uh, you're looking to have piglets. And we wanna know your thoughts, make sure to leave those in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please do uh, hit that subscribe button and follow these little piglets story because we'll have a lot, uh, we'll have a lot of action coming up. So Bethany, do you wanna talk a little bit about the first thing that we did that you might not have to do uh, when you have piglets. Yeah, the first thing we did was we, uh, my dad and my grandpa used to raise sows and they did them more in confinement. So it's a lot different scenario than them, than us raising one kind of out in the barn all by herself, but they um, cut the teeth. Needle teeth. So, Needle teeth. So yeah. they're super sharp teeth that are up in the upper parts of their mouth. And they just said they're gonna fight over those nipples and instantly, like within 10 seconds of them coming out of <laughs> out of her, they were hitting the nipples right away and they were starting to fight over which nipple they wanted to um, claim. So we just went ahead and snipped those off. Super simple process. I don't even think it hurt other than just a tiny little clip of the tooth, the kind of just a really sharp part of the tooth and then that was it. Stop to hurt each other when they're fighting over the nipples. And we wanted to take him way out here so Mama doesn't hear him squeal because she gets pretty upset when she hears her baby in distress. Okay, so what, what I all I got is these side cutters. And what why we decided to do this is <clears throat> we've got different sizes of piglets. Um, this is a really good size one, but we're not going to do this on the we're not going to do this on the little runt. And give him a fighting chance, but I am going to take the the needle teeth and just dull them on these other ones. So putting your fingers to the back of the jaw, 
opens up that mouth. And look in there. And they're gonna squeal, and we're way away from mama right now because we don't wanna disrupt what she's got going. So I think a lot of people are not doing this now. So this is totally something you, you decide on your place, on, on your litter. This is not a life or death deal. Um, but what I think it is gonna do is allow that runt to have a, a really good chance of getting in there and get what it needs. So, and it's such a simple process that, uh, that we're, we've decided to do it here. So, here we go. And you're just clipping off the bottom. That's it. And this is seriously, that is all we're clipping off of those teeth. The very, whoops. It's, anyways, it's gone. It'd be a lot better with a smaller side cutter. Mm -hmm. We've done it. Let's put him back with his mom so he can get back to nursing. Yeah, and I think I think for us, um, it was one of those let's do it and just get it done, mm -hmm. so that we don't look back and go, oh, I really wish you know. Like uh, we've heard that their their cheeks, uh, because they fight uh, the cheeks and the ears can mm -hmm. get so raw, and that's infection where they, and that's where they get infection. Uh, one thing is that when I did this, I did this with regular size side cutters, uh, and they do have smaller little little like clippers almost toenail clippers to, for that mm -hmm. and so i would advise that the tool was just too big for the project but at the same time it definitely does the the trick um so you don't have to worry if that's all you have so the second thing is that we put a a blockage we when when that pig um when she laid down to have her babies then we knew that that was where she was going to stake her spot. So uh, what we did was we put a board in the corner so that she couldn't lay on them as easily. Um, and what we've heard is people don't really do that very much anymore. I don't know. The, the couple people we talked to said they don't do that at all. They don't. It's... It just, I think in confinement, it's very popular. Right. Well, in confinement, they're in crates. Yeah, but, and, but in, yeah. I just think you have to when you're in small, confined areas. But yeah. we were just hoping that we wouldn't have to, but it's also so, our first time right. having piglets, so we didn't so, know what to expect. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, the idea behind that is that if she lays down in the corner, those piglets have nowhere to go if mm -hmm. she's right in the corner. Therefore, uh, they have no way to get out from underneath her. She lays on them and can kill a bunch of them with that being said uh sad news a little bit here two of our piglets have died we're not exactly sure what happened but one of them we do believe might have been laid on so it's not a it's not a hundred percent deal mm -hmm. um it, it definitely keeps them um, away from the corner as far as mama the babies can still go in that corner but it keeps mama out uh from the corner, look at her just, <laughs> she's just doing a good job back there. And look at the babies. Um, yeah, can, they're sleepy. Uh, anyways, uh, it's not really focusing on that, but. Um, so that was the whole plan on why we kind of fenced off that particular corner. Um, and she, when, when they stake their spot uh, in, in the little shelter that you give them, then you can be pretty, pretty well confident that that's kind of where they're going to go back to where they're going to stay so uh that's why we picked that corner to to put that in and like i said it wasn't 100 percent, but at, i think it did what we wanted it to do and yeah we feel we feel good about the decision of doing that mm -hmm. yeah so the <laughs> the final thing that you don't necessarily have to do is we did put iodine on oh, yeah. the umbilical cord so we're just going to take some iodine and put it in a spray bottle to spray on their umbilical cords just to kind of prevent infection and kind of keep it sterile while it um, continues to dry up and fall off. Your baby runt. There you go. Hey, he's not at the back. No. This one is a porker. <laughs> he's a porky. And once again, that's just a kind of a, uh, it is an open area. 
uh, for those piglets. And we were right here as soon as they, we were right here when they were born. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that one out because that's so cute. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were right there to witness the whole thing. She let us be right in with them. And because we were right here so early, we went ahead and took care of those umbilical cords with just a little spray bottle and some uh, some mm -hmm. iodine. And uh, there's, there's no pain there or anything. And it just kind of helps that open. I, I guess you could almost call it an open wound, although it's not really a wound. It's just an open pretty natural way to do it though yeah you know, just so, a spray or two on there and yeah call it good so uh those are the three things we uh we clip the teeth we uh put the corner gate up and we also uh put iodine on the umbilical cords uh let us know if you know anything about what we could have done different what we should have done that we didn't uh what we did that we didn't have to do if you know anything about having piglets and if you I uh, don't know anything and just love to watch the little piglets, then that's fine too. We absolutely love having these guys around. The kids love them. Everybody that we've had over uh, just loves to see them. They are so cute and they just, uh, I just, it's so different. Pigs are so different in their birthing experience than any other farm animal, mm -hmm. animal that we've ever witnessed. It's so simple and it's just such a beautiful, I guess thing to witness it, yeah. it was amazing mm -hmm. um so if you haven't done that make sure to check that video out hey thanks so much for uh joining us here at the homestead and make sure to check out other episodes as we bring you more about these little piglets <laughs> we'll see you next time <laughs>